Hello there, this is Red Legs Drinks. What, we're not doing Red Legs Drinks? Oh, uh, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. No, we're doing that thing where people uh, drink a lot and then they talk about history and we're not doing that either. Ha, too late. <laughs> so what we're doing today is uh, uh, Pirate of the Month. That's what we're doing. We're doing Pirate of the Month Club. And um, I am going to be talking about Red Legs Greaves. Now, last month, if you saw it, which I hope you did, you saw exactly why it is always a bad idea to have ladies on a pirate ship. It's because they're smarter, uh, they're meaner, uh, they're better fighters than all of the men. Yeah, it's a bad idea. We look really bad compared to them. So it's just bad luck to have women on, on ships like that. Yeah. It's, it's not a good thing, but I'm here to tell you about um, a bloke by the name of Red Legs Greaves. That's right, my name's sick. Uh, he was a pirate captain, but he started off um, in a very poor way. Yeah, but you see, his mother and father in Scotland were uh, part of the War of the Three Kings. And unfortunately, it didn't go well for Scotland. They were captured and sentenced. And uh, their punishment was to be actually sold into slavery. And when, uh, when that happened, they were shipped off uh, down to the West Indies, uh, to, the, to Barbados in particular. Now, uh, fortunately for our Red Legs, who was born soon after they arrived in Barbados, is that his parents were very kind and very thoughtful parents. And also uh, his slave owner was actually a very kind and thoughtful uh, individual. And, you know, he was educated. And um, even though he had, you know, responsibilities that he had to, to take care of and, and, uh, and work on while he was there, uh, life was not, you know, life was as good as it could be being in the situation he was in. But about the time he started to uh, reach his uh, his teen years, both well, both of his parents passed away, and his uh, his owner passed away. So he's actually sold off to another owner, who that person was was very very cruel and mean, likes to punish and whip, uh, just a very terrible human being. And Redlegs decided that he needed to escape. So one night, he um. He, he, he actually ran away and he swam across uh, Charles Bay and he stowed away in a ship that he thought was actually a, um, a merchant vessel, but it turned out to be a pirate ship commanded by Captain Hawkins. Now Hawkins was known throughout the Caribbean as an unusually cruel pirate. You know, he would torture any captives uh, anytime he came across uh, any ships, uh, he really did not leave uh, any survivors. He was not a good person. And if you happen to be captured by them and you are a woman, uh, well, things were especially cruel for you. And so one day, um, Red Legs, who pretty much had had enough of this cruelty, uh, refused an order by Captain Hawkins. And the two of them went to a duel. And somehow, miraculously, uh, Red Legs Greaves was, uh, was the victor. And because of that, the rest of the crew voted Red Legs into being the captain. So what did Red Legs do? Well, he wrote, he rewrote the, uh, the articles. Uh, sorry, he, re he wrote the articles, the ship's articles. And in it, they had to be kind to uh, any captives that they had. If a ship that they captured, uh, surrendered, then the crew was left alive to sail back off to wherever they, they needed to be. Uh, it was a very, very different crew, but he was also a very successful pirate. Probably his most successful mission was one in which they uh, captured a town in Venezuela. So Red Legs, what he did was he captured a Spanish armada that was floating right outside of the town. And once he captured those ships, he was able to use their guns 
on the town and the fort that was there to, to protect it. Once the town surrendered, the Red Legs crew went into that town and they took all the gold and all of the, uh, the pearls and other valuables, but there was no pillaging, there was no burning, there was no torturing of anyone like that. I just took the golds, the, they took the gold and the goods and then they left it uh, pretty much like it was, that's true. Um, so with that, Red Legs actually had enough money that he decided, you know what, I need to retire. I don't need to be a pirate anymore. I can retire from piracy and become a gentleman farmer. And that's what he did. But unfortunately for him, uh, one of his neighbors happened to recognize him as a pirate and said, you know what? I want the reward money for this and turned Red Legs over to the authorities. Now, you would think because Red Legs was basically a good guy as far as being a pirate is concerned, that the authorities were like, you know what? Uh, we'll give you some leeway on that. Said, no, no, they didn't do any of that. He was actually uh, sentenced to be hung by chains until he died, which to me sounds like a, a terrible, terrible way to die. So he was uh, sitting uh, in the prison when all of a sudden there was a terrible earthquake and that earthquake just uh, ravaged the place and created a, a, a tsunami, which then flooded the entire town. Um, and uh, uh, that was the town of Nevis. Somehow, miraculously, the Red Legs was able to, uh, to escape and live. And he was washed out to sea where he was picked up by a whaling ship. Now, Red Legs happened to be a very good sailor by this time. So he joined the crew and was able to, uh, to be part of it and help them out. And he did that for a while. And then after that, he, he actually became a pirate hunter because he was thinking about all of those other pirates that were still being mean and cruel to the people that they would capture. And he's like, no, we're not having any of that. That's the wrong way. And so he actually uh, would help hunt down those pirates. And eventually he did earn himself a, uh, a royal pardon. Well, after that, he, uh, he was able to retire once again because, you know, he still had some treasure left over. Just because they captured him didn't mean they got the treasure that he had from before. So he had all of that. And so he was able to finally retire. And uh, basically he died of natural causes. Now, I do want to say that most of the documents that come out about red legs are a little bit on the iffy side. I mean, was he real? Was he not? Was he a, a real pirate? Was he not a real pirate? Uh, nobody is exactly sure one way or the other as to whether Red Legs was a real pirate or not. But I like to think that he was, and that he was a good he was a good man, and he tried. To, he was a pirate through and through, but he did not stand for cruelty of others. And I actually kind of like that. So that's why I'll, I'm very, very fond of Red Legs Greaves. Well, next month, we're going to talk about another lady pirate. And you'll understand why having women pirates is a bad idea. Because once again, they're a lot smarter, uh, stronger, tougher um, than most of the men pirates. So, you know, you got to be watching out for that. But... Until then, uh, this is Red Legs of Red Legs Drinks and of the, the Pirates of Fortune's Folly. Bye now.